Okay guys, hello, it's me, Halloween Dan, and this is a super quick, super unanticipated video, because I didn't think we'd get this much this early. Because what I'm talking about now are Home Depot leaks. Let's do this. So I knew the managers meeting was happening between the 13th and the 14th, which is right now. I just never expected we'd get so much, so quick, so detailed, so much information like this. And it completely took me by surprise yesterday when this stuff started to arrive. So I'm going to quickly run through what we've seen so far and what these things are. <laughs> To be honest, I'm quite impressed so far. Last year, when we had these leaks, there wasn't a lot to go on, and what we did see was a bit meh. This, however, there's meh elements, but not as many. Most of this looks pretty damn fantastic, to be fair. So we start off small with the 12-foot skelly. Huh? <laughs> start off small with the 12-foot skelly. No, we start off big with the 12-foot skelly, which has returned. I thought maybe this was the year it was being retired. Maybe this is its last year. Tell me in the comments. I'm not sure. But either way, he's returned and he's joined by a big dog thing. I mean, it's interesting. It's cool. And both the dog and the skelly have been updated. They've not given the skeleton any movement from what I can gather, but they have updated its eyes. And the eyes now have updated LCD eyes, which I think you can change to do different things. There, In the picture, you can see like swirls, but on the back behind the skeleton, in another picture actually, there's a row of skeleton heads with different patterns in their eyes, stars and love hearts and all kinds of different things, which I'm guessing the 12 foot skeleton will also be able to do. So both the 12 foot skeleton and the dog have this new feature in their eyes. I don't know. And the dog is obviously brand new. We've never seen the dog before. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I think if you like the 12 foot skelly, you'll like this big dog. I wouldn't be racing to go get the big dog, but okay. I, I, I can see why that might sell. Then we've got this really interesting skeleton prop, which is being called the poker face player. And it's clearly some sort of a gangster type prop. He's the, the, it's really interesting because the skeleton itself is gold. It's got like a kind of an antiqued gold look to it. It's got rings on its fingers. It's wearing a very, very sharp suit. It's holding a cigar and what looks like a glass of whiskey. And then in the other hand, like some playing cards. So it looks like it's a gambling gangster type prop. I'll be very interested to hear what it has to say. It's very cool. It's definitely a cooler version of Dean the Deathologist, I'd say. And it's the outfit's very, very sharp. I love the shoes. I like the guy's shoes. Really cool. But again, I don't know where you'd put a prop like that. It's, you know, a gambling guy. I suppose if you've got a bar, it might be kind of cool in there. But I don't know. Like the idea, though. Then we've got the Plague Doctor. I think this is the one a lot of people are quite excited about. I love a Plague Doctor prop. I love all that kind of creepy, like the, the, the rook that came out of Beastcraft and all that. Those kind of creepy props that look a bit like a bird, but have that Plague Doctor vibe. This is an actual Plague Doctor, and it's brilliant. It has all the elements I love about props like this. It's got the lantern. It's got these weird goggle eyes, which look like they've got sort of light effect inside them, blue hue light effect. Effect. He's moving as well. When in one of the videos we've seen, he's kind of lurching about, his arm moves backwards and forwards, and the staff he's holding kind of he's jolting it forward a little bit. The staff itself has got like this nice little sort of skeletalized bird on the top of it. Um, the overall, the details on this thing looks great. I love the outfit. The outfit actually looks really well detailed. Love the hat, love the overall look, love a plague doctor. Who doesn't love a plague doctor? unless you're dying of the plague. But oh well, 
Yay! Then we've got what's being called the Captain Cuts Pirate Animatronic. And the first thing I thought of was, Hello Scare Dad, you would want to do a pirate theme this year. I think this might be for you. I don't know. He looks pretty well detailed. We've already got pictures of this guy. I have no idea what he's actually going to do. Uh, apart from maybe move his arms. He, I'm guessing he's going to have some phrases too, hopefully so. The outfit looks on point from the pictures I've seen. I like the overall look. It's a true pirate captain look. Love the trihorn hat. Love the parrot on the shoulder. The beard looks great. It's, it's a real proper sort of scoundrel looking pirate. Uh, he's got a hook for a hand. He's holding a sword in the other hand. Everything about it looks really well detailed and really well put together. So, yes, love this. Wish it was available maybe a couple of years ago. For me, though, there's one prop that I find the most exciting, and that is the Frankenstein's monster prop, which has been revealed. Now, from the pictures we've got, some of the pictures are a bit grainy. Some of them are not so bad. I like the look overall. Uh, it, it's got those cool moving eyes that Lethal Lily had last year. So that's a big thumbs up that they're going ahead with this still moving moving eyes, giving this prop a bit more detail. And I'm, I was talking only a few weeks ago about how I want to see more classic monster props and more Frankenstein's monster props. And here we have one. Absolutely brilliant. It's a big Frankenstein. He's got a bit of movement in the arm. He's tilting his head backwards and forwards. The detail looks pretty good, and especially in the video where he's sort of only lit with different lights rather than in full light, he definitely looks very good. The only thing I will say is that unlike with Lethal Lily where the face was very realistic and it looked like real flesh is the only way to describe it, this does very much look like a plastic mask on this Frankenstein. The face is maybe a little bit too shiny for my liking. And the movement, though good, it does kind of make the neck look a little bit weird in the picture, like it's stretching over the mechanics underneath. I don't know. I, I think maybe they could have done that a little bit better, given the actual mask itself and this face of the, of the creature a little bit more detail and a bit more realism. The outfit... It looks okay. It could have been more detailed. It could have been better fabric, I think. I think it could have been a better costume. But overall, it's a Frankenstein's monster prop. So I'm not going to nitpick at it too much. We haven't heard what it says or does. I'm hoping it just sort of growls. That would be great. And let's let's just see. I'm not going to prejudge. This is just sort of demo stuff. So let's not prejudge too much. We've also got this really cool headless horseman prop, which... Looks as though it's the those posable skeleton guys that had the movement in the mouth and stuff, that it's that head on the arm of the Headless Horseman. It's a skeletal Headless Horseman, which is really, really cool. I have to say, in one of the pictures, the horse, skeleton horse, looks a bit weird. And then in another one of the pictures, the skeleton horse looks really, really awesome. So I, I don't really know which is the real version. But either way... It's a pretty cool looking prop. I love the sort of detail on the bones themselves, the skull as well. It's not just a brand new out of the box kind of skeleton. It looks aged and weathered and all those things that you want from your skeleton props. The eyes are glowing red on the skeleton. There's a red glowing light in the chest and it looks like possibly in the horse as well. So all of that's really, really good. And yeah, I like this prop. It'd be interesting to see what it does. Lastly, there's a tree. There's a tree prop. No idea what it does. It looks very similar to the sort of tree prop that the distortions did, but obviously less detailed. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing maybe its arms move a little bit. It's going to be something like that. It's motion, if anything at all. And then it lights up, of course, in its face. Not a great amount of detail around what this does. It's pretty awesome, though. I like a creepy tree. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on in the background. We've got some some what looks like a scarecrow that's sort of peeping out through a window. I can't tell if that's a scarecrow we've had before. There's some awesome looking tombstones dotted around. There looks to be a hidden reaper, maybe a new reaper. It doesn't look like the Inferno Reaper, so that would be interesting to see. There's like a weird raven type bird on the floor. There's lots to unpack in these pictures if you look closely at them. But these things that I've mentioned are the main things to get most hyped and excited about. And I'm not going to lie, they look pretty good to me. And I'm pretty hyped and excited. It's here, guys. It is here. Anyway, guys, there'll probably be more to reveal. This probably won't be my last video. In fact, it definitely won't be because 
sometime in the next couple of days, I'll be uploading a video where I've been talking about Trans World. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Keep it spooky. Bye.